Hello, hello again. In fact, the Haiti scandal was also a Lyme scandal. So um, the the not milk, the not milk engaged in, um, as I understand, when I read on the internet, it seems like they involved in the manipulation of the industry of um, lime fruit production and this is was in Haiti you know so um, in this way you can see that uh, we have the connection again to lime here and something called lime gate uh, there isn't there isn't very much yet about this but I will show you the proof of of this and uh, we're going to start um, we're going to start on um, the Clinton Foundation and uh, and just see that in this in this uh, so this is the Clinton Foundation and 2016 it is around uh, election time as I understand it was and they made this article about their work with lime industry in Haiti and so this was in relation to the, the chaos around Haiti and um, so they they actually involved in this in this lime stuff um, the Clinton Foundation saw an opportunity to support the revitalization of the lime industry and so you know you know all the stuff maybe you maybe you don't do maybe you don't there there is this scandal around Haiti it's even hard to search for on Google it's even it's even problematic to to just find decent information about this because it's so uh, well kept kept uh, hidden I suppose and um, but um, yeah so they, they talk about here how they involve themselves in the lime industry in growing lime trees as you can see and uh, but uh, when you read first of all zero hedge there are they mention some of the uh, scandals in relation to this and you can see they mention the lime industry grifted high this lime industry you see grifter you know grifters um, the former Haitian government official set to uh, testify against against the not milk. So someone wanted to test again, testify against the not milk, and um, and then a week before he 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 was set to testify, he he shot himself in the head supposedly, and it was supposedly a suicide supposedly uh, but um, yeah and then you can see that I mean they they uh, officially involved themselves in the lime industry they, I'm go also going to show the official apology uh, so there is an admittance from the not milk that they apologize for something you see so when you apologize uh, you in some sense have decided that you cannot 
uh, you cannot you can no longer use politics you know so you simply apologize um, let's continue um, so let's read this article 2016 Bill Clinton uh, not not milk center of line gate scandal and um, a couple of years ago, Clint uh, Not Milk gave a one hour, a hour speech to the Perfume Industries Trade Association. In an answer to a question after the speech, Mr. Uh, Not Milk said he didn't wear cologne, prom promoting audible gasp in the room. <laughs> um, now, now that's some fine investigative reporting it comes in the middle of a story about how the not milk made money from the speech and then while uh, a while later cunningly allowed a fragrance supplier to contribute uh, a bunch of money to the not milk in Haiti to set up a project to help Haitans farmer plant lime trees Apparently limes are key ingredients in, in perfumes. It's honestly not clear what the problem is with this. And uh, the author admits that, that the not milk has given so many speeches to companies and the not milk foundation has collected donations, blah, blah, blah. Um, okay. Okie okay. okay, dokie. Okay. Um, Let's see. Let's listen to something more. The earthquake and so many people live in makeshift tents because of the earthquake from 2010. But being there in Port-au-Prince and seeing ceremonies with President Bill Clinton, who said and there are two critical issues in his life at that meeting. What happened? So first of all, we have to go back when we look at Bill Clinton and his relationship in Haiti when he was president. One of the worst things that he's done that's still hurting Haiti now, especially in the wake of these disasters that keep happening to Haiti, is this policy where he took the excess rice from Arkansas, where he's from, and dumped it in Haiti and used our tax dollars to subsidize it. Up until this past recent year, there's legislation that keeps getting knocked off to reverse this policy, although he apologized for it. Let's go to that apology. Yeah. Yes, in 2010, former President Clinton publicly apologized for forcing Haiti to drop tariffs on imported subsidized U.S. rice. During his time in office, the policy wiped out Haitian rice farming, seriously damaging Haiti's ability to be self-sufficient. This is the president apologizing at a hearing before the Senate Foreign Relations Committee at the time. He was the U.N. special envoy to Haiti. Since 1981, the United States has followed a policy until the last year or so we started rethinking it, that we rich countries that produce a lot of food should sell it to poor countries and relieve them of the burden of producing <coughs> their own food. So thank goodness they can leap directly into the industrial era. It has not worked. It's maybe been good for some of my farmers in Arkansas, but it has not worked. It was a mistake. It was a mistake that I was a party to. I am not pointing the finger at anybody. I did that. I have to live every day with the consequences of the lost capacity to produce a rice crop in Haiti to feed those people. Uh, so yeah, he's admitting he made a mistake. So you can ask yourself, uh, what kind of what kind of power did this? Well, I suspect it was the limes. Um, he, it's not the rice. Uh, it, it's <laughs> uh, you see the not milk did something to the limes to the lime industry uh, and that was not okay you know <laughs> and um, yeah and so there are, there, there is this dra drama around the rice but uh, when I read more about this, right now I can't find it, but I read also that um, much of, of the lime production became uh, totally destroyed from this. You know, if you, if you donate something like uh, rice to a, to a country, uh, 
it, it, this is this is not like that. You see, uh, he 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 took it from his own uh, state, as I understand the rise, and um, and so you can just smell the the scandal here of doing that uh, first to his own people, and it's always like that. Um, but and then he used somehow the tax from Haitins to pay for. He he basically created the market himself. Yeah, that's that's what he did. He, he said uh, buy our rice and and uh, you don't have a choice. We're going to do this, right? That's how I see it. Uh, and that's that's not to let the market function. And so uh, a market is destroyed and, and people's uh, livelihoods are destroyed. Uh, but uh, the thing is, um, it involved limes, as you can see. And, and uh, this lime has to do with Haiti, you know. And um, yeah. And so... I, I believe that's that's the big thing that that happened here uh, that were yeah. So that they messed with the lime, basically. Uh, here, they, they they even admitted themselves. You see, yeah. Clinton Foundation. You see. So, yeah, interesting, right? Don't mess with the lime. Okay, let's end it. See you guys.